Good morning, this is Pinky, giving you your first video lesson on how to dress like a pirate. Now normally this isn't my actual outfit, it's one I used to wear a long time ago, so this one's, this video is specifically primarily for my stepmom on how to get dressed. I plan on doing a few other ones and explaining different things about corsetry, things like that. So what you see me in is actually what I consider my underwear. I usually wear a supportive tank top, my own brassiere, and leggings. Some people will wear bloomers, I prefer leggings. Not as much fabric underneath. So what you're going to need to start off with is whatever you're going to wear underneath. That, your underwear, you know, shorts, something underneath, bloomers, it helps keep your legs from sticking together or it helps give you that extra added layer. Try and get cotton because cotton will absorb sweat. It'll keep you cooler longer. From there, you'll want to put on your favorite socks. I like my long knee stripe socks. They're also 100% cotton with only a little bit of stretch up at the top. So once you get your socks on, pull them up over your leggings. It gives it a little bit easier because then when you put on your cute boots, they're there. So I'm just going to get the other sock on real quick. You can pick up your, these types of socks usually at different renaissance fairs around the country. Next you're going to want to put on your shirt. Now this is one of the shirts that my mom made for me for one of the costumes that I was wearing when I worked up at the Bristol Renaissance Fair with the Feather Mom. So it's not my normal shirt, like I said. I'm going to be sending this one to my stepmom for her to wear. So. A lot of women will go off the shoulder. I don't like off the shoulder. Looks weird on me. Makes my shoulders look huge. Next you're going to want to wear your skirt. Now most skirts are measured for actual waist length, not hip length. We're so used to wearing everything at hip length. You'll want to make sure you find your natural waist, which is right where your belly button is, and goes around. That's where you're going to want to line a lot of your things up. So put the skirt on over at your natural waist. Now this is the tricky part, making sure that nothing is bunched up in the wrong ways. So you can just take and maneuver your shirts around until everything is kind of pulled nice and tight because once you get your bodice on, you'll stretch. Now your next part. And the final part to your actual costuming itself, you can wear multiple skirts, different layers, things like that. But what you really want to top it off with is a bodice. Now this is a front bodice, front closing bodice. It's fully you know, complete all the way around. The adjustability is in the straps and in how tight you lace it. And it's laced just like a shoe. Once you get it on, Kind of like putting up just a regular vest, pull your sleeves through, make sure that nothing's bunched up. I always attach my laces even when I wash my bodices. And this bodice came from noellecostumier.net. Uh, she makes awesome bodices. I think I've had this bodice for 15 years. I wore it forever. And it still <laughs> looks as if it's brand new. So just like a shoelace, you start from the underside and come to the top side. Now, I usually go from the underside out. And there are different ways of lacing, gives you a different look. This is my preferred method for this. And then you cross over the top, back under to the next one. And get completely laced up. Don't worry about tightening it down until you actually get it in place. And as you may notice, it sits a little high. That's because I have the straps tightened down. You can adjust the straps once you get it in. It's real easy. It's just a bow tie. Now that you have your bodice in place, move your 
girding and your shirt, whatever you have that's underneath, up to the point where you're going to want it. Bring it in, tighten it down just like you would a shoe. Grab a hold of the two strings and just work it all the way up. Now the bodice for me is still not completely right, but I'm not going to take the time to actually adjust the straps. Simple, easy, bow. Done. Now your next main parts that you're going to want to get are a belt and my favorite, skirt hikes. Skirt hikes are a newer invention. They came out because too many women were tripping and falling on their skirts because they were trying to wear them at waist, their hip waist, not their true waist. Now, my skirts are always a little short because I've got really long legs. But you're going to want to get a belt. Your belt, your skirt hikes. A belt typically is just a single ring, and it's about six feet long. This is the easy part. Whichever way you're most comfortable with, I usually put the ring in my left hand. Grab the belt, bring it around to the front, and hold because you're going to put your skirt hikes. And with me, I usually put all my gear on my belt. My belt will weigh up to 35 pounds, depending upon how much of my gear I'm going to use. Now, these lovely skirt hikes have two rings and a loop, but they're also snapped. Depends upon where you go, who you get your skirt hikes from. But what you're going to want to do is take and put the snap on the outside, and you're going to feed it onto your belt. Put one on one side, and one on the other. Now your belt is also going to want to go around your natural waist, not your hip waist. If you do hip waist, everything's going to pucker up, bunch up, and it's going to look ridiculous. You'll want to go more for your natural waist. Now the way to tie a belt, you don't have hooks, you don't have holes, things like that, because they didn't really have that functionality back in the Renaissance and piracy or any of those ages. They didn't really use them. It was a lot simpler just to use a leather strap. So what you're going to do is, rings in the left hand, tail in the right. You're going to pull it so that way your belt is not that, you know, the loops are not that far crossing over. You're going to take the tail of the belt. You're going to take and put it through the loop. This is the hard part. You're going to cinch it almost all the way down. Holding the loop on the right hand, you're going to take the tail. You're going to go underneath the left side of the rings, and you're going to bring the tail up from the underside. Now you're going to take this tail, see this loop right here? Put it back down through the loop. So you're coming up from underneath and going back down. Kind of like the rabbit goes around the tree and back down the hole. And all you're going to do is just work that loop, pulling the tail until it's nice and tight. And if it's still not tight enough once you let go, you can either suck it in and pull the ring over and then take and move it over, or you can just keep working it as easy as you can until everything is nice and tight. There's your belt. But Where's your skirt hikes? They're right here. To get the draping on the skirt, it's actually really simple. A lot of people will sit there and go, okay, um, how about this? That works. What I usually do is take, pull the skirt out until it's tight, about my arm's distance as if I was going to be doing a curtsy. Go down just a little bit farther because you want to work it straight to the edge, basically the edge of the skirt. Now that you got this, pinch it in one hand. You're going to take your fabric, the edge of your skirt. If it's a thin skirt, you can go up a little bit higher to the point where you have like a flag. Here's your skirt hikes. Keeping the rings together, you're going to come up with the skirt through both rings. Split them. The one that's closest to your body is the one that you bring the fabric through. So you're basically looping it and then pulling it tight. Same thing where you were pinching it the last time. On the other side, same thing. You're just going to grab your fabric, 
run it up through both rings, split them, then take the fabric of your skirt back down through the second ring and pull. Now, you got some adjustability, you could take and change it around, you could pull it real tight in front of you and have the poofs on your hips, or you can bring it around front so that way it gives you just a little bit more like a tart look. So just by changing and adjusting your rings can actually make a world of difference. This is your basic costume, this is your basic outfit. Top it off with a hat, sash, a few other things. Have some fun with it. Change your colors. It's simple, it's easy. If you get like a black skirt, black bodice, white shirt, you can make some major changes with just a simple waist sash that you can put on over this, head scarf, jewelry, accessories. Coming up in my blogs that I'm going to be starting and adding to thepinkpirate.com, we will be discussing different types of corsetry, different types of costuming, and your accessories. Things like myths, like every pirate had a big gold hoop. Not necessarily. Gold was very expensive and very hard. Do you know how they used to pierce your ears? Find out. Stay tuned. Bye!